Along with three other heroes, 27-year-old Mukoda Tsuyoshi is transported into a fantasy world to rescue a kingdom from a mysterious threat. However, it soon becomes clear that Tsuyoshi has been dragged into the summoning ritual by accident. His only skill turns out to be food menu, which allows him to open an interface where he can purchase and obtain food-related supermarket items from modern Japan. Unceremoniously booted out of the palace, Tsuyoshi sets out on his own into his new world. However, his ability to create delicious dishes unknown to this world soon pays dividends, even attracting the legendary wolf Fenrir. Fenrir is so taken in by the food that the creature immediately forms a contract with Tsuyoshi, becoming his familiar. Followed by this whimsical mythical being, Tsuyoshi takes up a job as a merchant and adventurer, traveling and cooking up mouth-watering meals that never fail to amaze the inhabitants of this world. Let's start the anime. A group of heroes are summoned from another world and they are greeted by a princess, they have their powers appraised and they are all gifted with unique skills like the holy sword technique and the ability to use all kinds of magic. We then meet Mikata and when he gets appraised he has a strange online grocery skill. Mukata is shocked, hearing this thinking. His skill is useless and wonders if he has anything else but gets told that that is his only unique skill. He becomes devastated and wonders why all the others got such overpowered skills. Despite this, he gets told that he will still need to have an audience with the king. The heroes have an audience with the king and he explains that their kingdom has been getting attacked by the demon king. He asks for their help and the three heroes quickly offer themselves to help. Mukata, on the other hand, decides he isn't cut out for being a hero thinking. He would only get in the way and says he just wants to have a simple life. He ends up getting out and they even send him off with 20 gold coins in the town. He starts attracting people's attention with his strange attire, so he quickly buys a change of clothes. He goes around trying to learn about this world and ends up getting a room at the end. He is relieved he decided not to be a hero. Finding the king, suspicious with how luxurious they seemed and decides he should leave the kingdom as soon as he can Mukata checks out his stats and sees he has an item, storage, skill and an appraisal skill. He tries calling out for his online grocery skill, but nothing happens. He wonders how his skill works and he ends up tapping on it, which brings up a page for his online shop. Mukata tries using it ordering some water and some food he tries to check out, but it asks for money and he finds he can deposit his coins into the screen. After confirming his order, a package instantly appears containing his items, and Mokata is happy that his skill is actually useful. He ends up learning that a gold coin is worth about 100 and the 20 gold he was given would be enough for a family to live for 3 months. The next day, Mukata finds a ride to get out of the kingdom along the way he needs a merchant, and after talking with him, he finds out his item storage. Skill is actually super rare, with only 1 in 1000 people having access to the skill hearing. This Mukata goes on to ask about the appraisal, skill and the man reveals that that is even rarer, because only heroes summoned from another world can possess. The skill Mukata gets nervous, hearing this and tries not to be suspicious. The man asks him where he is headed and Makana tells him he is trying to get to the next kingdom. The man tells him getting out is a smart decision, because the kingdom is headed for destruction and there are rumors that the borders are about to close. Mukata is shocked to hear this and, in the end, their carriage ends up getting suspended at the local tavern. Mukata learns that the carriage services were stopped, so people can't run away to the neighboring countries, because if people run away, the kingdom's army would decrease in size, so the men suggest that they should get out while they still can Mukata wonders how to get out worrying about the monsters he might encounter. He ends up heading to the adventurer's guild and puts in a request for an escort to get out of the kingdom. The clerk tells him that, since he is on foot, it would take a number of days, so the cost would be 8 gold Mukata is alarmed at the price, but seeing he has no other options. He agrees to the price. The clerk calls over an adventurer and we meet Werner, a C-ranked adventurer. They negotiate the mission and Makana offers to provide them with food during their journey, and they come to an agreement. They prepare to set off the next day and Warner introduces the rest of his party. There's Vincent the swordsman Rita the scout Ramon, the mage and Fank of the healer. They head on their way and soon stopped for a break. Mukata goes to prepare some food pulling a stove out of his storage. Vincent is surprised to see the storage, Skill and Rita is impressed at his magic stove. We see in a flashback at a store. The shopkeeper tries to sell him a magic stove for 50 gold, 
but instead he was able to find a cheap horrible stove from his online shop. He ends up making some soup and sandwiches and when the party tries it, they are amazed. Ramon finds the soup to be delicious, but it was actually just some instant soup. They find the bread is super soft call at the best bread they have ever tasted and are glad they took this mission. The group continues on their way, but get attacked by some monsters. Werner and Vincent are able to swiftly take them out, but Mokata is startled at the scene as they get healed up. Bria reports that there is a red boar ahead. They discuss how to deal with it, but it suddenly appears and Mikata is shocked at its size. Werner tells him to get cover and they proceed to battle against the boar. The boar is defeated and Mokata is impressed at their strength. They end up skinning the boar for its skin and horns, but there is too much need for them to carry so Mokata suggests putting the meat in his storage. They decide to stop for dinner, and the group is looking forward to eating his food. They crowd around in the wash, but Mokata gets worried, saying he gets embarrassed, but in reality he doesn't want to reveal his special skill. He gets to cooking, combining bacon, cabbage potatoes and even adding sausages to create a delicious stew. He hands up the bowls to everyone and, as they eat, Mukana wonders if it's not to their taste, but they are soon stuffing themselves and they all ask for seconds. Mukata is surprised. They like it that much and Ramon reveals that they normally eat jerky and hard breads when they are traveling Rita, even feels her body in better shape. Thanks to the meal, Mukata finds this a bit strange and decides to use his appraisal skill. He is shocked to see Rita, has boosted stats and when he appraises the food he sees that it grants a buff Mukata starts to get worried thinking. If someone were to find out, he could be in danger, so he is determined to keep it a secret, but there is a beast that watches them from the bushes. The party continues on their journey a few days away from the next kingdom. They set up camp in a forest and Mikata decides to cook some of the boar meat for their dinner. He starts preparing the meat slicing it up into pieces and he uses a special sauce from his shop to flavor it as he starts cook. Looking at the others are amazed at the smell and it even attracts the attention of the beast when Mokata is finished, the others stare in awe as they try it. They are immediately blown away having never tasted something like this before they all praise Mikata, but he just thinks his secret sauce as Mikata discusses his cooking method. Their faces suddenly turn to fear and the beast has emerged from behind him. They are shocked to see a Fenrier and it speaks to them demanding to have some of the meat Mukata quickly gives it a plate and it eats it with a single bite. It demands for more and Makina asks it to wait. While he makes more, the beast agrees and Mikata quickly prepares more meat. He has a huge plate, but the beast devours it and demands more Mukata keeps cooking while the beast keeps eating and demanding for more after cooking. Again and again, the beast is eventually satisfied. The beast is impressed. Mukata managed to satisfy him and decides to form a familiar contract with him. Mukata thinks it's a bad idea and tries to refuse, but the beast gives him an intense stare and he just can't refuse his friends encourage him, and he reluctantly agrees. The beast's head starts to glow and the two form the contract. With this, the beast tells Mukata that he is now responsible for taking care of him expecting three meals a day and Mukata is left shocked at what he has gotten himself into. But that's where this video ends. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more of this series, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.